Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When the Pharisees, with some scribes who had come from Jerusalem, gathered around Jesus, they observed that some of his disciples ate their meals with unclean, that is, unwashed hands. For the Pharisees, and in fact all Jews, do not eat without carefully washing their hands, keeping the tradition of the elders. And on coming from the marketplace, they did not eat without purifying themselves. And there are many other things that they have traditionally observed, the purification of cups and jugs and kettles and beds. So the Pharisees and the scribes questioned him, why do your disciples not follow the tradition of the elders, but instead eat a meal with unclean hands? Jesus responded, Well did Isaiah prophesy about you hypocrites, as it is written. This people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines human precepts. You disregard God's commandment, but cling to human tradition. He went on to say, how well you have set aside the commandment of God in order to uphold your tradition. For Moses said, honor your father and your mother, and whoever curses father or mother shall die. Yet you say, if someone says to father or mother, any support you might have had from me is korban, meaning dedicated to God, you allow him to do nothing more for his father or mother. You nullify the word of God in favor of your tradition that you have handed on. And you do many such things. The Gospel of the Lord. In the story of creation that we have heard in the first reading in the last two days, we come to read it with a certain reverence and uh, come to understand that it doesn't necessarily explain the how or the when, but certainly explains the why and the who and the sanctity of it all. That we, and, then, and, and the priority of, of, of humanity. God created all those things and they were good, but he created the human person, and he said that is very good. And then, of course, uh, the first account of creation in chapter one, which we heard, uh, also is meant to lead up to the sanctity of the Sabbath on the day that God rested, and so we too rest, although we change the Sabbath to the Lord's day after the resurrection. But it's good for us always to, I love watching things like the uh, National Geographic Channel or the Animal Planet or anything that kind of gets into the complications and the intricacies of nature and ever more respected by, by recognizing the uh, mind of God and the hand of God in it all. And of course, to look at any human person and even to look at ourselves and the wonder of our own being as the psalmist says, how can we not uh, have faith in the God who made us and his great wisdom? The gospel today is challenging in another way. It calls us to make sure that we don't lose sight of the true commandments of God. And Jesus uses the example today of honor your father and your mother. Now, of course, many parents use that to try and uh, keep their children in line, but really uh, Jesus is speaking to adults and the challenge is to adult adults who have elderly parents. And we speak about now the sandwich generation, people who have children to take care of and elderly parents to take care of. It can be a very uh, difficult and stressful time. Um, yet Jesus is making us aware that it is, uh, you can't just dismiss caring for the elderly. And those societies that take great pains to respect and care for the elderly uh, are, are blessed indeed. And how good it is for us to try and make sure that we merge the generations. And very often, of course, grandparents always um, uh, cater and coddle their grandchildren. There's, uh, you know, the 
parents are disciplinarians, but the grandparents can dole out all the love. Um, and that's good too, but it's important that that love continues in both directions and that we truly honor our parents and that there is uh, nothing that should excuse us from that reality as best as we can do that. But we pray that God will help us always by his grace to be challenged, to respect all that he has given us, all in creation and all in the beauty of our lives, for we are God's handiwork. <laughs>